Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we spent a ton of time fishing in the ocean for Willy because he gave us a quest to find him two tuna fish, and unfortunately, we were not able to do so. We found a ton of different types of fish, but no tuna down there. So it was a little bit disappointing, and I would like to see if we could maybe find Willy a different gift today. Maybe we can do just a little bit more fishing to see if we can find him anything special and to just kind of get back in his good graces too because I'm sure he is also quite disappointed that we were not able to do that. But I did rearrange our things a little bit in here. Um, this is our like mini Christmas tree that we're using for the Feast of the Winter Star so I figured I would make it just look a little bit more festive. And um, actually the Feast of the Winter Star is coming up very, very soon. Only three days left until the Feast of the Winter Star. So I am really looking forward to seeing what that's going to be like. We have our emerald all set and ready to go for Penny. Um, Leah's birthday is coming up tomorrow, actually. And then we have Clint's birthday, too. But I think um, Clint's birthday, we will give him uh, one of those jades. I'm pretty sure we still have a jade in here. Let's see. Um, oh, no, not that chest. I want this chest. This is where we put all of our minerals. Um, we have a jade in here that we can give to Clint. And I think, um, Leah, we typically give her the eggs. So what we might do is just um, make sure that we have an egg saved for Leah for her birthday tomorrow. And we'll say hi to little Daisy too. Hello, Daisy. You are enjoying your day in the snow yet again. Let's give her her water. It looks like she's coming right over to it too. She must have been very thirsty after sleeping all night. Um, we have some wiggly worms over here that we can grab. There we go. And uh, let's say hi to our chickens too before we start the rest of the day. We do have something to go give to a uh, Gunther. We have this prehistoric scapula that we need to go give to him. Um, just one egg? Is there really just one egg in here today? Oh my goodness. I hope our chickens are okay. That's surprising. I'm positive that I fed them yesterday, right? That's very strange. I guess they, maybe they were too cold. They didn't feel like laying any eggs today. That's okay. They deserve a nice rest anyway, so we'll just uh, give them their hay and they can stay nice and warm next to their heater. But I guess um, we'll save this large egg. We might as well, just in case our chickens don't feel like giving us any eggs tomorrow either. I'll just put the egg in uh, this chest way over here with all of our other miscellaneous items, I guess. But we'll remember that our large egg is in there so we can give that to Leah tomorrow when it's her birthday. And I think I think that'll be good. So there we go. We still have all of this bait on our rod so we can take that with us to the town. Um, I think we'll do a little bit of fishing in the uh, river by the town actually. We'll see if we can find anything there. Again, I know that there's still some uh, interesting fish that we can gather up in the winter time and some of them are things that we need to donate to the Junimos still as well. So I want to keep a very close eye out for them and I don't want to let the uh, winter time slip by us without grabbing them. And oh my goodness, more worms. So many worms appear. I I mean, we're not getting very good things from them. <laughs> Just mixed seeds and winter roots. They're not the best of items that we could possibly have, but at least we have them, I suppose. So let's go into the town and um, donate this to Gunther right away so that that's not sitting in our pockets. We might need some extra pocket space after all if we're going to go fishing. But here you go, Gunther. We have yet another item for you in here. And we'll place this right next to all of our other old bones. Oh my goodness, another reward from Gunther. Really, what are you going to give us today? Let's see. Oh my gosh, a sloth skeleton? Okay, so it's like a piece of a skeleton, the uh, left side of it, I guess. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do with that? We're going to have skeletons all over our house, skeletons and bears, apparently. I've noticed that we have quite a few bears from uh, Gunther, too. Basically, everything in our house is from Gunther at this point. It's quite interesting. He has really uh, decorated our house for us. Uh, as strange as it is, he has managed to uh, give us most of our furniture. But let's see if we can find anything in here. Hopefully, we can find a nice little gift for Will too. Um, oh gosh, not green algae. We're not going to give that to Willy. Um, we probably should have checked our fortune today too to see if it's any uh, different from yesterday because it might not be a good thing if it's exactly the same then we're certainly not going to be finding any tuna in the ocean. Um, and green algae again. Oh my goodness. So we were running low on algae but honestly there's not much that we can use it for so I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not that we're restocking our algae supplies. There was some sort of recipe that we could make. Trout soup, I believe. Um, but okay, this is actually a, whoa, a fish. A really, really wiry fish. We have dealt with wiry fish before. So let's see, is this going to be another pike maybe? 
Um, let's see what this is. Oh, a tiger trout. I know we need that. I absolutely know that we need that. Let's see, the fish tank. It would be in um, the river bundle. Yeah, the tiger trout. Okay. So then we just need the catfish. And I'm not sure if we can catch the catfish in the wintertime or not. But that just leaves one more fish for us to catch. So there we go. We'll go give that to the Junimos today. Let's see if we can catch another one too. Maybe we can catch um, one more to give to Willy. Just to show him our uh, good work as a fisherwoman of the town, I suppose. Um, despite the fact that we can't seem to find any tuna in the ocean, which seems kind of strange, but let's see. Little fish, little fish, I almost have you. Just calm down, please. <laughs> I hate it when they zip away right as they're at the top. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, there's a pike. Okay, so we caught a lot of pikes yesterday um, off in the forest. So that's good, I guess. We can at least sell that off too, but I do want to see if we can catch another tiger trout because that would be pretty good to bring to a willy, I think. If not, then we can always give him the pike. Maybe he would appreciate that too. I feel like as long as it's some type of fish, he'll probably appreciate it. Um, just knowing that all of his tools are not going to waste. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, little fish. You are just barely hanging on. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think we're coming back now. Don't you dare get away from me. <laughs> These are really hard. They're a lot harder than you would think they would be. And it was just another pike too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one more time. One more try for a nice tiger trout. We'll go back over here. Maybe this is the special area for tiger trouts. And if not, then we'll just give him um, this pike down here. So let's see. Hopefully, oh no, oh no. I don't need any extra little bonuses messing me up here. Oh, let's see if I can grab him again. Oh, that was really risky because if you don't catch the fish, then you end up losing the chest too. So sometimes it's better just to let them go, but I think I managed to get them both. Just barely. There we go. I don't want to jinx it, but there we go. We did, and it was a tiger trout. Excellent. Okay. So that was just a little bit of bait, which wasn't really worth it in all honesty because bait is so easy for us to make. But we'll put it back on our fiberglass rod, and um, we'll go give Willy one of these tiger trouts. I hope he likes it. It's a silver star one too, so if it's something that he enjoys anyway, then he'll get a little bit of an extra boost to his um, social tab since uh, the new update allows us to give items of better quality to these uh, different townspeople. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> there are those two little seagulls that were distracting me yesterday too. They were kind of uh, walking around on top of Willie's house. But here you go, Willie. I hope you like this. This looks great. Thank you. All right. So he seemed to enjoy that. Um, I'm not sure how many hearts Willie actually has with us. I'm sure he's a little bit more friendly toward us than um, Pierre is. Let's see. He is well two hearts. Oh, man. These are people that we really, really need to work on, including Clint. But after his birthday, he might enjoy our company a little bit more because I know he loves those jades. So we'll keep that in mind too. Um, we do need to go up to the Junimos though and give them the tiger trout before I forget about that because I know I am very prone to forgetting things in this game. Um, I did notice that we had a shell over here though and I don't want to miss picking this up. Oh my goodness, all of our crab pots. I almost forgot about these. Um, let's see, can I actually just fill these up with bait? We might as well. I mean, they're just sitting here doing nothing right now. So we might as well put some bait in these. Um, I missed this one. There we go. And then we can at least catch something in those um, next time we come by on a different day. But there's some uh, coral down here. I mean, we haven't been down here in so long. There's only one piece of coral, though. Okay, I was expecting that there would be a little bit more for us to collect. But one piece is just fine. It's a gold star piece, too. I believe the coral we were able to use for um, the warp totems. So we might want to hang on to that. We'll see how many we have in our chest before we throw it away to a cell, at least. Um, now the Nautilus shell, that might have been something that we had to donate too, wasn't it? It's kind of hard to keep track of all of these different things sometimes, um, but I believe it was in the field research. Yeah, okay, the Nautilus shell. So we'll go give that to the Demetrius bundle here um, in the Junimos place as well. We should probably go back into the mines at some point and try to pick up these frozen geodes too. And the chubs, I feel like we always catch the chubs, but we haven't uh, managed to find one recently. Uh, maybe we can't catch them in winter? I can't remember if we've caught one in the wintertime or not before. I mean, we haven't really done too much winter fishing, so it was kind of new catching all of these different things. But yeah, let's go up here and let's uh, donate these things to the Junimos before we forget to do that. And then we'll go ahead and place some of these things in our chest too. 
And um, I think that'll be good. So tomorrow, Clint should be done upgrading our um, axe as well. And then we'll be able to go see what's inside that uh, secret area in the forest. But let's see, the river bundle, we have this tiger trout for you. Only one more fish, the catfish to go. And then the bulletin board over here should be where we need to place the nautilus shell. Let's see, the field research bundle and the nautilus shell. All right. So after we complete this, we'll get a little bit of a friendship boost with Demetrius, which should be good. Um, we could probably bring him something else too. Do you think he would like the winter root? He seems to enjoy plants, studying plants more than anything else. So he might actually enjoy that if we bring that to him. Um, we can at least give it a try. I mean, we might as well. We haven't talked to Demetrius in so very long. So he might just enjoy to uh, see that we're just uh, looking out for him, trying to get back in his good graces, I guess. And there's Alex. We haven't talked to you in a while either, but I don't really have anything that I think you would like. <laughs> we only had that one egg today, and unfortunately, we are saving it for um, Leah tomorrow. So we won't be giving that to um, Alex today. But let's go ahead. Let's see what this is. What is that? A rusty cog? What on earth are you? Um, we do need to donate that to Gunther, apparently. We haven't given that to him before. I don't think we've seen that before. So let's go give this to a Demetrius first. Here you go, Demetrius. Do you like winter roots? Um, that was very thoughtful of you. So certainly not his favorite thing, but it's the thought that counts, as uh, many people say when you're giving gifts. So at least he appreciated it a little bit, just knowing that we're kind of thinking about him. Um, let's see, where is he down here? He has four hearts, so not too bad. He's kind of like in the middle right now. Um, Linus and the wizard are still at the top, which is so funny. And then we have all of these people who we could possibly marry later on in the future. I know a lot of you want to see Shane be the one. A lot of you also have been mentioning Sam too, so we're going to have to see uh, which one's just really clicks with and let's see what robin has in here today because this is where we managed to find that little a tree before and i think her uh, stock changes every day yeah we have a diviner table now a house plant um that furniture catalog again that is definitely a goal but it is a very far far off goal because it is going to take us a very long time to get 200 thousand gold. I can't even begin to comprehend how much gold that actually is, considering that we only have 15,000 <laughs> sitting in our pockets right now. So that is quite a bit for us to uh, take care of. But let's go ahead and throw some of these things in our chest, throw some things in the bin to sell as well. Um, The fish can go in the bin at least. But yeah, how much coral do we actually have? Um, We have three pieces here, so we might as well sell this one since it is worth a little bit more. Um, I think that would be a good thing. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll throw this all in here. Um, I think we may have just missed um, Gunther too to um, go ahead and donate this thing. I think he closes around um, six o'clock. I mean, with our new minecart system, we might be able to make it. We'll go ahead and zip up there and see if that's the case. But I have a feeling it's probably going to be like just too late. Let's see. Are we too late? I think we are. <laughs> it looks like all of the lights are off. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, we were literally just too late. So he does close at 6 p.m. Well, that's okay. Instead, why don't we see if we can spend just a little bit of extra time in the mines? We'll go down to one of the frozen areas and we'll see if maybe we can get lucky. Um, we probably want to stop at the quarry too to see if there's anything special here. Um, just a whole lot of stones, no diamonds. I don't see any diamonds, just a ton of different stones. So nothing that we really need to worry about right now. Uh, but yeah, we'll go to the mines and we'll go down to one of the frozen areas, which I'm not exactly sure which ones they were. Let's try 50. 50 seems like a good number. There we go. So there is um, our frozen mines and hopefully we can find a frozen geo down here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All of these little bouncing sprites. Wow. I was not expecting that. Thankfully, these guys are definitely not as hard hitting as um, the red slimes and the fiery portions of the mines. So we shouldn't have too much trouble, even though I am doing terrible and these guys are bouncing off of me everywhere. Um, they're not taking off too much energy. So we'll go ahead and slice these guys away. Um, you guys too, they give us some coal usually. So uh, they're pretty good to take care of because we do need the coal for smelting. And there are a ton of them. Oh my goodness. What on earth? There are so many enemies down here today. I'm not used to seeing this many. I mean, there have been some pretty packed places in the mines, but never like this before. At least that one managed to give us a little ladder, so we should be able to get out of here pretty soon. But I'm not seeing um, any frozen geodes, so unfortunately we might have to uh, keep searching for that. We don't want to spend too long down here just because um, it is already 8 o'clock. So we'll just do a little bit of exploring, and hopefully these guys aren't going to overwhelm me. Oh my goodness! 
Oh my goodness, I should have really brought um our slingshot a coffee bean. We actually got a coffee bean from him. Okay, so plant in spring or summer to grow a coffee plant. Place five beans in a keg to make coffee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this was one of those new things in the uh, new update. So that's quite interesting. Now we can make a little coffee plant. All right. We have to wait till the spring to actually grow it, but that is really neat. So we'll definitely place that in our chest to make sure that we use that. Um, no geodes in there. How about in this one? Let's see. Um, yes, a frozen geode. Excellent. Okay. So let's just explore down here a little bit just to make sure that there's nothing in here that we don't want to uh, miss. Like, you know, a diamond maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can find a diamond on floor 52, but we might as well just check and see. Um, there's that satchel. Okay. I remember those satchels from before and it's already open. So we've definitely been this way. But there we go. This one is a little bit uh, spookier. A bigger cave filled with a ghost, it looks like. So we'll just take care of these guys, see if we can get anything special from them, and then we'll probably start heading back because we don't want to spend um, too long down in the mines. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot about that sound that they make. That was very loud, too. So let's get rid of these guys over here. We can uh, pick up some of this iron, too, since we did use quite a bit of it um, to upgrade our axe. And that should be good. There we go. Do we have any space? Um, we don't have any space. What is this? A wood mallet? All right, well, at least we can sell that. Um, we'll go ahead and put our mixed seeds in the trash, I guess, because we do have tons and tons of those. Um, so we shouldn't need to worry about those too much, but we'll pick up this iron. I think I'll leave the copper behind just because our pockets are full. That's another thing that we are definitely going to have to uh, work toward, buying another backpack upgrade, because it would be very, very helpful if we could have that last little um, layer here unlocked with a whole new stack of items that we could carry around with us. Now, I don't remember exactly how much it costs, but we will uh, check that out at some point. Um, hopefully once we get a little bit more money in the springtime with all of these crops that I am planning on growing, I'm hoping that we're going to have a huge harvest. But, um, oh, a little bit of wood too. Um, we'll trade that out for the sap because we could always use the wood. We typically use a lot of wood when we construct different buildings with Robin, so that would definitely be a good thing to have on hand. But let's go ahead and head home now because we are actually getting quite late here. I'm sure Jess is getting very, very tired. So we'll go to the bus stop and um, we'll place some of these things in our chest. So yeah, in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll go to Gunther's and donate yet another thing, a rusty cog for Gunther. I'm sure he will be very, very impressed with us. Um, we could probably place some of our loot in here, the slime, the winter roots. Um, let's see, is there anything else here? We have a ghost fish. Where did we pick this up? It must have been from the uh, ghost, huh? I didn't even see that, okay. And we have the uh, solar essence, our crystal fruits. Um, we have a quartz in here too, and our wings, our little bat wings, and I think that's good. Um, of course, we'll have to bring our frozen geode over to the Junimos this time, which is going to be a little bit different because I'm so used to bringing the um, different geodes to Clint's instead so we can crack them open. But, um, oh my gosh, and I almost forgot about this too, our sloth skeleton. I mean, what are we going to do with that? That is crazy. Um, we have a lot of iron ore that we can smell, actually. I didn't realize we were so high on iron ore. So we'll go ahead and put some of those in our furnaces and um, keep the coffee bean in here too so we don't accidentally lose it. I guess the wood mallet is another thing that we can maybe sell off to Marlin in the Adventurer's Guild. He might appreciate that. But there we go. We still have a little bit of leftover ore here that we can smelt, so we'll have to remember to do that in the future. Um, we have quite a few different things in here. I think we can move this over to a, this chest to put with the rest of our seaweed. And there we go. Let's see what this thing looks like, I guess. I mean, I don't really know where we're going to put this in all honesty. Um, we have to light up this place a little bit too. Definitely need a little bit of a better lighting situation, but for now, it's just fine. Um, and here's our skeleton. <laughs> Look at this thing. That is so strange. I mean, I guess it fits with our current decorations. We have a skeleton over here anyway, and all of these bears. Very, very bizarre little house that we're all living in at the moment, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> we'll leave that there for now anyway. Um, I suppose we could put it right here in our room since we have so much space over here, and uh, Daisy will probably enjoy playing around with it when she wakes up. I'm sure she's a very mischievous little kitty because all kitties seem to be. But there we go. That's a about it for today because it's getting so late now. So in the next episode, it'll be Leah's birthday. We'll go bring her that big, large egg that we managed to pick up from her chickens today. And I think she'll appreciate that. But thank you all so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.